Hello everyone, John Bowlerman, America's favorite bowler boy. Day two, and it's a late start with 9.30 and it a.m. and it's already 23 degrees and 31 with the humidex. So I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today, but I already beat out the cushions, the foam cushions, which I'll wash, wash in the uh, heat of the day. But I'm going to remove these cabinets here and I'm going to do some of the fiberglassing from the inside here so I can seal this thing up a little bit better before the thunderstorms come today. And my helpers here, of course. job already. I think it's here. Hard to see and hard to feel actually. But let's see if I can cut that. Well, that's done. Hey, there it is. Got her. One more screw attached to the closet. And that's it. Now oh, in the other cabinet, this one's different because it's got wires, running wires in it. So, to remove all of this. Oh, it was silicone there, so I'm going to cut that silicone and hopefully nothing else is holding it. on there thick oh. all the way down oh. a little more, more movement and of course always use safety gloves oh, oh yeah well I didn't want to remove the heater. I couldn't find the small screwdriver, so I just used the oscillating tool for a greasy solution. And it works. Now I have open access to clean that all up, do my wiring, do my fiberglassing, and paint it all up. Well, I know I said I don't want to remove this heater yet, but I can just remove the collar and just take the dimensions and rebuild it. But this is why the lady I bought this from said that the uh, dinette table had disintegrated and because they just used all this garbage particle board, it gets wet and it's done. So I'm gonna replace all the wood in here with plywood. Anyway, I'm gonna remove all this. heater anyway so whatever it's all good needs to go especially if I want to play with the tubing under the sink and whatnot so I just undid the copper and it is standard I don't know how yesterday I thought that I had done it reverse but point is you do it slowly and you test and you'll figure it out all right let's see pull this out yeah eh. Yeah. 
There's the unit. Not helping. All right, this is the back bench. Last thing to clean up in terms of the foam. So there's a solid plywood support. With hinges to negotiate the round contours of the bowler and a thin layer of foam that can get beaten out and washed. Oh, dusty. I did a quick sand, probably a little too coarse, just to clean up the surface. I am making these holes bigger to clean out any debris so I get fresh fiberglass for patching. And I'll etch that out a little bit more too for more bite. crack was going maybe that's a crack too anyway I'll keep picking at it well that's nice and ugly which is good more surface area for bite just around all these holes I'm gonna do that too nice and clean and more for the body fill to grab onto well, it is so hot and humid in particularly at all the masking that I did for the fiberglass work fell off within the two minutes I was gone. So, what does that mean? I have to figure something out. All right, I got distracted from fiberglassing job. And I'm doing some hole filling instead using short strand fiber or a short strand uh, filler I should say which is supposed to be for holes up to a half an inch I'll have to be a couple layers mush it in mush it in and I'll do another layer on top to even not all out but for now it's kind of filling the hole let's just fill the hole Okay, it's 35 degrees in the bowler. I'm gonna get this patch job done real quick. Oh my goodness, okay. Quick patch job there. Put on four layers. Another patch job. And I did a small patch job there. Yeah, it'll do. Uh-oh, better wipe that up. Yeah, and then I'll do the body fill. And did I mention it's 36 degrees in here while doing that? So it is time for an adult beverage. Me thinks. I gotta move this thing, it's 36 in there. I'm gonna put it here in some shade. 35 in the shade. much shade as possible. Uh, a little too much hardener in this one, but it's got to be quick. The best of times you only have a minute or two. Mixy mixy. You know, usually I wear gloves, but it's so bloody hot. 
that your hands just turn into wrinklies. They're just crazy. Welcome to Adult Bevy Time with John Bowlerman. I was just thinking about Dr. Phil-isms and what he would say about it being so hot here. He would probably say, it's so hot out, catfish prefer the pan to the river. We'll be right back. It's a day to think up of Dr. Phil-isms. Uh, okay, I'm going to drink 15 more of these. And I'm going to keep body filling. But that's going along very well. Just waiting for the fiberglass patch to cure. Dig out a couple new holes that I didn't clean out yet. And looking at it right now, I could cut out the two big cracks of damage at the bottom of the bowler. So anyway, I just wanted to get it patched up before any rain, which they say we could have a thunderstorm today. So anyway, I'll see you in 15. Welcome back to adult bevy time with John Bowlerman. It's hot out. I'm going to check. I thought of another uh, Dr. Phil-ism. Uh, know where I come from. We have a saying. It's so hot even the devil's like, oh that's a little too much. We'll be right back. Do do do. Anyway. Say it's 32 and it feels like 37, but that's nonsense because it's 34 here for sure. Yep, 34 degrees and verified with the other thermometer. So as we all know, the weather forecast is the world's first fake news. But the weather prophets are saying that... Uh, Potentially, there's a thunderstorm today, which would be pretty fun. A strong whopping 30 to 40 percent, so yeah. Anyway, thinking maybe, depending how many of these I have, I do a crazy project like rebuilding the door, which wasn't on the agenda, wasn't on the docket as they say. Anyway, thanks for joining Adult Bevy Time. See you next time. Welcome to Cold Bevy Time, or whatever I call it, with John Bowlerman. I uh, got another Dr. Phil-ism. It's so hot out, everyone's wearing sweatpants. We'll be right back. Doo -doo -doo. Anyway, still 34 degrees, 42% in the humidity. So I'm sure that's something like 40. Anyway, it's hot out. It's too hot to think. I need more cooling on this 486 processor that I got. I'm also thinking of just quitting this project and selling the bowler. So there's that. Anyway, or maybe I should just take my John Bowlerman's advice and say uh, when life gets heavy, just have a bevy. We'll be right back. Do -do -do. Hi, welcome back to Bevy Break or whatever I'm calling it with John Bowlerman, Joanne. Johnson and Hal McLeod. Anyway, still 34 out here. Let me check that. Yep. Just gonna keep hanging out here. I'm thinking about maybe keeping the bowler now. I don't know. We'll see.
Anyway, Dr. Philism is uh, uh, it's so hot that even the cats are like, this is a little too much. We'll be right back. Do, do, do. Okay, talk to you later. One patch there and patch there. All okay, right, day two done. Did a bunch of body work. Filled those holes and did a rough sand of them. And they look pretty darn good. This isn't pretty, but it's not sanded yet. Same with the bottom patch. Not pretty, but it will be. Didn't get to sand that. Filled there. Did sand that light. Patched, but not sanded, and will need to get filled again. So, Nico's going crazy. And voila. So, see you next time. Uh.